All right, folks. That's first ribs. Spare ribs that we're gonna be cutting. What we're gonna be taking off is this part. Of course, we wanna eliminate it. We don't want this flap uh, to be there. Uh, we're gonna take it off. Uh, that way, seasoning don't stay there, or no seasoning be without any seasoning down there. We're gonna be taking off the membrane, uh, also. That way uh, we can get some seasoning in there and we're going to be trim trimming them off uh, just aesthetically pleasing. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing there uh, on this one. Just the same as we're going to do with the other one. So I might spare you the time of you know how to take off the membrane and take off this. So we might just go, go ahead and skip to the seasoning. Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We got the spare ribs ready to go. Membrane is off take off that flap so there won't be no pockets of seasoning all we're using kosher salt garlic powder coarse black pepper and some crushed onion not in that particular order but that's what we use and that's what I've been using I usually don't buy any store-bought one I like how it tastes but mainly because I'm living here in Texas the basic is salt and pepper heavy on the salt heavy on the pepper that's what's uh, been going on here so let's get started the only thing I do use and I don't use is mustard I just don't like mustard even though I'm from Texas I don't like mustard so what I do is I use olive oil just a slight dab of olive oil that'll be our binding agent not too bad but that's what we're going to be using on 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 that i have no particular uh, order that i use as long as it gets uh, seasoning all over on these on these racks of, of ribs or spare ribs i just don't trim too much off of the fat either being from texas and there is a saying here fat is taste and fat is good uh, if you decide to take out the fat well more power to you I do not judge that's your prerogative so go ahead and do that but that fat is flavor here that's why we use that at least to my experience a uh, small time that I've been doing this and that's what I found out so very deliberately we're using pepper uh, it looks specs there uh, since I'm using onion uh, garlic powder I also like to use uh, the powder but I don't go too heavy on it either I don't want it to be caked on uh, so very light deliberate seasoning of garlic uh, powder if it's better you can use and you can find a granulated uh, garlic powder or, gar or onion powder, it'll be better. That's what I do suggest. But at this instance, I'm using this uh, uh, garlic powder and also some crushed onion. I have to use a regular grinder, not so much the flavor only. That's pretty good there. So, what I do use is the kosher salt. And this I do pack it. Uh, some somewhat of a little bit more more deliberate on it uh, you're gonna lose a bunch of the salt on the cooking but as long as you have some on it it'll be good that's the uh, bone side so what we're gonna do we're gonna flip them and start on the other side and do the exact same process while we're getting ready for the fire don't condone using gloves I just don't like to wear them but take consideration I do wash my hands all the time very often that's that's a must so you don't have to come down on me I do wash my hands pinky promise well I start with the pepper here again pepper and the salt 
or a rule here in, in Texas, at least to what, like I said before, the time that I've been doing this, mostly everybody here in Texas, that's their bread and butter per se. Pepper, heavy on the pepper and heavy on the salt. I don't use the paprika, uh, smoked paprika, a lot of people use that. That's just for color. Um, but what I like to do is use the wood so it can give me that color. Uh, using combination, obviously here in Texas again, uh, post oak, that's all I use on my, when I'm smoking. Uh, I could put, and sometimes I do use, especially for pork, uh, apple wood, the apple chunks. Uh, that gives it a good flavor. The one thing I do know, don't use apple for any poultry because it changes the color of the poultry, any type of poultry. Do not use apple wood. I've had experience on that already. It looks burnt. It's not burnt. It just changes the complexity when you're using apple, apple wood chunks on any type of poultry. So I don't use it. But for this instance, I do use apple for any type of ribs, especially these these um, baby bags, so spare ribs or the St. Louis cut ribs. I use that. I said very deliberate, not too much on the on the garlic powder. Don't forget the onion. Also, if you have a granulated onion, it's a lot better. I just happen to use. This grinder that I had left over, wash it pretty good. Now I'm using it for onion. Well, so here comes the salt. And kosher salt. Again, we're giving a good a good base of salt there. Again, some might say it's too much, too little. I don't know, this is how I I do it. So we're ready to go. We gotta do one more check on the fire. Next time we see each other, we're gonna be on the pit. All right, folks, here we are again, ready to put in these uh, ribs. Let's start with this one here. Again, no particular order, as long as they, if they're in there. You might see there's a a wood here. I saw that in one of the tutorials. I'm gonna be trying that myself. I'll let you know what happens uh, on that sense. But as you see it, ready to go. About three o'clock. Checking up on these guys in a bit. Oh, before I forget, there's a shout out to Mountain Property. My bro-in-law in California. Neri Montemayor, or for our Hispanic friends, Neri Montemayor. Shout out, man. Hit me up. Laters. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Holding steady. Let's see how these things look. Oh, it's a lot of smoke. Oh yeah. I see they're looking pretty good. Remember, not wrapping on no butcher paper or foil. Yes sir. Well, everybody, got a four hour cook unwrapped these suckers are done nice color they were spritzed with some apple juice and some pineapple juice that way you keep moist all throughout the the cook all right. next one is start slicing it's, it's rested already all right folks See if it's as good as it looks.